This is task 2.5 in the BPP revision kit of the AAT processing bookkeeping transactions. So first things first, we need to have a look at the requirements. It asks you to calculate the AAT to reflect the settlement discount and that is the very important word and show the gross amount after the um, newly calculated VAT and also says the VAT need to be rounded down. So I always number my requirements so I just to make sure I wouldn't miss any. Um, the third thing is that you need to be aware that it's a 3%, 3% settlement discount. So now to first of all we need to find out the revised the net amount to be used to calculate our new VAT. So that net amount is going to be 258.90 times that 3% is this figure here. So effectively we could use 258.90 to time to 97%. If you're good at math, you use your calculator to get to, get to that figure straight away. And then this figure here we times assumes VAT raised 20% times 20% we would have our new VAT here which is 50.22 remind ourselves this round it down to the nearest penny so when it when it says round it down if you've got a figure of 50228 you round it down, that will give you 5022. You not round it up, you round it down. Okay, so that's 50.22. So this figure need to be add back to the initial net amount to get to the uh, new gross amount, which is 309.12. So really this figure is, is coming from the 50.22 plus 258.90. So to make the rest of the question fairly easy, so if you clear about what you need to do, so you will times 97%, times 20% to get your VAT, and then that add back to the initial net amount to give you 378.25 again the rest of the question is the same you times 97 times 20 so in your exam if you do a lots of question practice in the exam you'll be very quick to get this done so that will give you 16.02962 and 87.55 and remember, all this figure need to be added back to these net amount. That will give you 98.62, 182.32, and 538.85. So to recap, you always work out the new the net amount to be used to calculate your VAT, and then time to 20% to get your new VAT, the initial net amount, it needs to be used to be added back to get your new gross amount. I hope that is clear.